Hi, my name is Rani Haddad, and today we're going to talk about uh, how to deploy the uh, ORAN uh, near real time RAN intelligent controller, also known as the RIC, on a Red Hat OpenShift cluster. So, we created this GitHub page, uh, and it actually includes the detailed steps on how to set up your OpenShift cluster in order to deploy the RIC. It also includes notes about how to run the Hello World X app and also how to set up uh, OCS as a storage backend for your OpenShift cluster. OCS is OpenShift Container Storage, which is Ceph-based uh, storage, and you can use that as a storage backend uh, in this case. Uh, the page also includes information about how to set up your Multis networking uh, to um, use a dual stack interface, an IPv4 slash IPv6 interface, for the E2 term pod, which is one of the pods or uh, you know containers of the RIC uh, application, and that E2 term pod uh, talks to the rest of the radio network, so it needs a dual stack interface. So there are, step, there are steps here that explain how to do that. So I wrote an Ansible playbook that consolidates the steps that I was just talking about. Uh, it's called deploy ricyaml the playbook is pretty self-explanatory. The first two steps are the SCTP configuration and the host path config. I uh, suggest you run those manually because they require a reboot of the cluster nodes. So once that's done, uh, then the rest is pretty simple. Uh, the steps execute, uh, they uh, update the repo, they create a pillar project, which is the server component of Helm 2. Uh, Helm gets initialized and once uh, tiller comes up, uh, then the rest of the deployment resumes and all the pods uh, come up in the RIC DLT namespace. There's a few namespaces or in OpenShift terminology projects that get created where the pods or containers run and you'll see soon that all these uh, come up and uh, they're all uh, running and the Ansible playbook uh, finishes the execution. So uh, once uh, the, all the playbooks, um, sorry, or once all the pods are running, uh, then uh, basically you can uh, undeploy uh, the RIC if you need to using the playbook. Um, like I said earlier, you can also set up OCS as a storage backend um, and uh, you know run a Hello World X app uh, if you need to. So if you have any questions, feel free to write me in the comments. Uh, ask me how to deploy Hello World X app uh, or set up OCS as a storage backend. Uh, and uh, I want to say a uh, special thanks to um, Mark Deneef, who helped uh, get this GitHub project up and running, and Steve Conish for uh, helping out uh, as well. And um, thank you all for watching. Like I said, feel free to comment and tell me if you have any questions about this. Thanks again.